Hey, so today we got Chef Danny Bowen, and uh, he has this new book, Mission Vegan, and we're gonna make a recipe right out of it. It's actually the recipe that I wanted to make, which is the pineapple kimchi, I think it was? Yep, pineapple kimchi. Luckily, you chose one of the easiest recipes in the book. <laughs> I mean, I feel like um, in the book, most of the recipes are fairly simple. I mean, um, the idea with this cookbook is that we wanted to make something that you could cook out of at home all the time if you wanted to. But anyways, we can get to the recipe now. We can start by cleaning up the pineapple first. Um, uh, I'll show you what yes. I think is so, the easiest way. Just letting you guys know, I'm not very good with a knife in terms of using Which it. Which is okay. the most surprising thing I've ever I, I'm a knife about. sharpener. I can sharpen your knife, but using it, I, the chef's gonna be a lot better, no, so. This is the simplest thing. All you're gonna do is this. You know, I start by taking the top part of the pineapple off, right? Like that, straight down. And then the bottom part of the pineapple off as well. Use the tip of your knife to kind of just carve down to the bottom, okay. Head, right? And then you're going to just turn it towards you, right? Or away from you, whichever way you want. Mm -hmm. Start there, right at like three o'clock. Use the tip of your knife and just go right down, follow the angle of the pineapple, right? Just do that, keep going. You're gonna okay. do that until you get everything off. We've cut our pineapple down. Um, I'll take it now and cut it right down the middle. Right? And then from here, you want to take out this rib in the middle, right? Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to flip this over, start at the top, right? Cut straight down the middle, right? Mm -hmm. And then from there, you see this, this is the, the rib right in the middle, yeah. uh -huh. the core. And you're just going to take the tip of your knife and cut from front to back. So far, it looks like I can handle this. Like that, right? <laughs> So you have the, the the core is out, you have this thing. And don't worry about when I was cutting, you see this part up here that's like we went a little bit too, like not far in, quite not quite far in enough. Right. Uh, that's good because now you can clean it up here. You can just take it and when you're portioning it down, just take this part and cut that off, right? Okay. I'm just gonna cut this in half down the middle. Okay. And then I like to get, so I get nice and even cuts. I learned this working a lot of sushi bars. You start by cutting it in half, right? So if you wanted to cut, uh, nice even portions, uh, you cut it in half, and then from there you cut it in half, and from there you cut oh, it in half. Oh, okay, right? okay. Yeah, so, I've seen the sushi roll guys do that. Right, so that way, instead of like having to like measure, you get a really accurate portion. So I'll just cut this in half once, right here, and I'll take that, and I always start to like to go from like right to left, or left to right if you're left-handed, and I'll cut that half in half, right? Then I'll cut that half in half. So I think that's a, probably a pretty nice size. I'm gonna let this ferment for like three, four days. Okay. Um, it's gonna be nice and, um, it's, it's big enough. You don't want to cut it too small. Um, so you want to have like that juicy bite. Yeah, if you cut it too small, it kind of will just like disintegrate. Okay. That makes sense. So, um, so then you cut that in half, cut the half in half again, cut the half in half again. So you have really nice even portions. All right, guys. First time I'm using a knife on camera, so. Oh no, really? Seriously, yeah. Uh, I, I really sharpened good. a knife, but first time I'm using a uh, knife on camera, so bear with me, guys. So, down. There you go. Way. Perfect. And then you said just the first third. Yeah, so like, you know, is that how you sharpen knives too? Do you sharpen it in sections? Like one, two, three? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So, so like I start on the tip and then I work my way down in sections. Just like, just like you're saying, exactly. Yeah. So like, you know. So just. If you see any like dark spots like this, which you'll see sometimes, we'll just cut this out later. Okay. So this is a natural thing that happens with. So that you do want to cut out. That piece off now. Okay, so we'll, we'll do a jump. There you go. Perfect. Just take off the ends of the, of the, of both the daikon and the onion, mm -hmm. right? Get them nice and cleaned up. And then from here, all of the knife work is done. Um, we're gonna use a little daikon or roshi. Like a this grater, roshi. yeah. I guess we can use any like grater, copper grater, or whatever grater you have at home. And if you don't have a grater at home, you could also use, um, you could use a blender um, okay. or a, a Cuisinart, like a you know food processor. From here, I'll take the daikon radish. I will just take it and peel it down nicely. This is like a really great recipe. And I, I was talking to you before, and you said that you always wanted to make kimchi, but you really haven't. Well, the cool thing is I hadn't really made kimchi either okay. until I made this book. And this book was like really about me kind of like reconnecting or connecting maybe for the first time with my Korean heritage uh, through the lens of a vegan cookbook.
So we got the pineapple salted right now, and we're just letting it rest for a little bit, right? You said? Yeah, just long enough so we can stir this up. Not too long. Okay. Uh, but you got it nice and evenly coated. This is your base. You just want to stir this up to get those chili flakes incorporated. And you can take this recipe and then expand on it too. So, you know, that's the whole thing with this cookbook. What's really great is it's not like too precious. Um, if you wanted to like, add scallions into here, if you wanted to add ginger into here, uh, any other sort of like aromatics, if you want to make it spicier, we've thrown like minced up habanero in here, um, scotch bonnet chilies. So you can really um, like play with it. Yeah, this is just a really great base recipe and it works. So what we'll do now is we'll just take a really nice and clean, you want to make sure your container is very clean, clean container and start packing it in there. Uh, you can also, what's great about this, you can taste it now too. So this is the before. You get that like the onion, the daikon, gives it a nice like depth. That's really good already. Right? And as it sets, what'll happen is it'll start to almost become effervescent. So it'll add this like lightness, almost like you're eating like, or drinking like kombucha, that kind of same. That's really good already. Wow, yeah. I can't wait to see how that's gonna taste in a few days. You know, there's no garlic in here, there's no ginger. So if you wanted to expand on this, um, a little garlic goes a long way. Okay. I will say that. So if you were, Doing this recipe for two pineapples, I would maybe just add one piece of garlic. Created. Oh, really? That just little one? Because garlic really blooms, especially in a raw form. Okay. It really, really, really gets big. Chef, thank you so much. All right, man. We're gonna, I guess we'll taste this in a couple of days. Maybe we'll have the owner come in and taste it as well. It's but, amazing uh, with hot rice. It's like my favorite thing to eat is just this and rice. Well, I was, I was gonna rice. say, yeah. when I took that bite, that's what I was craving. I was like, I want that hot rice. So. Yeah. But thank you so much, All Chef. Right. It's awesome. a pleasure to do this yeah. with you. Happy to be here for your first on-screen My knife first on-screen cooking knife skills uh, video. So, uh, yeah. I mean, make sure you guys check out the book, Mission, Mission Vegan. Um, recipes are great there. I have a copy, and I will be making this at home. Uh, maybe tonight. 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 Yeah, <laughs> maybe tonight. Awesome. All right. Thank See you, you next time, guys. See you later.